Good morning friends, welcome to today's video. It has been way too long since I filmed and life has just gotten crazy and I didn't feel right just continuing to post normal videos during this crazy quarantine time, but I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope your family and friends are all staying safe as well. And I really hope you're doing everything you can just to make the best of this time and really just keep everybody, everybody safe. So today I thought I would just do a little day in my life vlog. It'll probably be a short video to be honest because I'm not doing much around the house. But I figured I would just start the day off with you all. So I am just starting the day with some black tea and I put some peach juice in it. This has been my favorite thing to drink since I stopped drinking coffee. And this is a little like at home version of what I would usually get at Starbucks, which is the peach green tea. So I've just been using whatever tea we have at home and then just putting peach juice in it and it's so good. It's been like my favorite happy thing in the morning. Today is also Good Friday, which is really special, but it's also just kind of sad that everybody will be celebrating the Easter weekend all at home this weekend, but I do think we can make the most of it and really just remember what it's all about anyway and that we can still celebrate from home. So for now, I'm going to pack up some Etsy orders, which is what I have spread out all over my bed. My room is still a mess. I haven't unpacked because this week has been so crazy for me with online class. I feel like online class is actually busier than in-person class. I don't know how that's possible, but I have my entire Etsy store basically sitting on the floor of my room over here. And then I have like a pile of crochet stuff over here. That's been my other hobby that I've been doing. And I have some fabric laying out right there to make some face masks. So life is just a little crazy, but I'm gonna make some orders and then I'll catch up with you in a little bit for a meeting that I have to do on Zoom. I don't have any classes today. This was actually my last full week of class, but I do have an online meeting with one of my professors soon. So I will be going to that at 11. I'm at my little work from home set up here, just the desk in my room. It's a little uncomfortable, not as roomy as my office in Tallahassee. That's definitely been the biggest adjustment to moving back home for this whole quarantine time. I'm not used to doing schoolwork here, but it is doable, it's been manageable, and I've been trying to keep all my work at my desk, not in my bed, and then kind of separate between sitting at a desk time and then relaxing time. So I have my two orders for the day here. I am so, so thankful. My orders since quarantine have actually been pretty decent. I don't get hundreds of orders all the time. I usually have a few a day. I average like one to two per day throughout the whole week. It's usually not always every single day, but it kind of averages to about seven-ish a week and I've had a few extra orders this week than even before quarantine so I think maybe just with everybody being home and wanting to kind of treat themselves and treat their family and friends as well while they can't see each other because I do have a lot of like gift type items on my store it's been really nice to see that and some of the little notes that people have been leaving either for me or for like as gift messages have just been super cute and really nice to see so I've just been dropping all of my orders into my mailbox at my house so I don't have to leave or go anywhere and the post people have been really great about it all my orders fit in my mailbox so that's been really nice and I'm just really thankful to have orders still going out. Another thing that I've been doing, I posted about it on my Instagram, is I've been keeping a little jar of something I'm grateful for every day. And these are all the ones that I've already done just since quarantine started basically. So I just have this little pink jar that I've just been writing one to like three or four things every day that I'm grateful for or something that was happy that day. 
and that's been something really nice for me and kind of something that I remember to do every day to stay mindful and grateful. It is about 10.40 right now. The orders took me a little longer than usual because one was a custom order and I just went ahead and made it this morning. I had the time to do it and then one was a bracelet that I already had in stock but they can usually take me about like 10 to 30 minutes to pack depending on whether I have to make the orders and how many orders I have and I still want to do a video showing how I pack all my Etsy orders. I haven't gotten to that yet and I've said I'm going to do it but I do hope to do that soon and now would be a good time to do it if I can get a few orders in one day to show you all. Now I'm just going to log on to my computer and see if there's anything I need to do for today's meeting. He's a great professor and I've had him the whole year so it'll be nice to see him because we already had our last class for that class period and online school has been an adjustment for sure. I think I've been online for three weeks now because I had one class that started online the week before all schools went online. So it's definitely been rough. It's really hard to not get to see any of my friends again, to not be going to campus and all of that on top of just adjusting to working from home in law school is really, really tough and much harder than I expected. So I've just been trying to keep a similar schedule to when I was going to classes, but obviously it's not the same living at home. But I've been trying to wake up about the same time, do a little Etsy orders before I have class, make some breakfast, and then get to work on my computer. But today I just have the one meeting, so it's a pretty easy day and I'll probably talk more. Maybe I'll do another video about law school online and how that kind of changed the semester. But my law school is all pass fail now no optional grades or anything everybody is pass fail for every single class which i think was the right decision i personally would have been really worried about what grades would look like if we were expected to perform in the same manner as if nothing had changed this semester so i am really really grateful that they decided to make that decision and that our deans and our professors were really looking out for everyone's best interest but of course that comes with a lot of other hard things and adjusting the things and that means I only have one semester of grades from a whole year of law school but I am really thankful they made that decision. The other really hard part about all of this is that study abroad was cancelled obviously I think I talked about that in my last video so since then obviously my plans have changed a lot so I'm also not sure what I'm doing this summer. It's something I was really looking forward to and kind of just a big thing I'd been planning for. But obviously I totally understand. It's just kind of hard to deal with each new thing that gets canceled while this is going on. But obviously that is the right decision. I know why it's happening. It's still just hard because I was really looking forward to that. Now we're kind of just in this indefinite, very unknown, uncertain time. So that's just been really tough. But I'm working on it and I'm going to figure out what I will be doing for the rest of the summer now whether I can be working online or just working for myself or doing online classes. So I'm just gonna hop on my computer and get ready for my meeting and then I will catch up with you all in a little bit. And before I do that, I'm just gonna row, stick these in the post box and then I will get to my meeting. just finished my meeting it went really well he was such an amazing professor so it was just nice to talk to him it was actually an interview to be his TA for the next year if I didn't mention that before I know it's kind of competitive our class is pretty small but he was so great and the TAs were so great I know there's a lot of people who want to do that for the next year but it was worth a shot anyway it took me like 30 minutes of my time to wait for him to like pull me into the meeting because it was a one-on-one -on -one, like interview sort of thing it was really casual though but he said he's got a lot of people who he think he would be good for it and he still has to grade our final brief which was like our final paper to see how everybody did to kind of factor that in he said it's not a deciding factor you don't have to have the best grades but he just wants to make sure we did a good job to be his ta to like teach the next class no harm done if i don't get it but it would be a really cool experience for me i think but i won't know for about a month so we'll see what happens really no harm done anyway i'm glad i went out for it anyway and I actually got two more Etsy orders since I've been sitting here for the meeting so I'm just gonna go ahead and print those out 
And then I actually have to run my dog to the vet. She has a torn ACL, which is so just sad. Like she's just a little baby and she has her torn ACL from running around and being too wild, I guess. But it's really sad because she's not allowed to play or anything while she's getting like treatment for it to see if they can get it to heal without surgery. She's been getting shots for it twice a week for a few weeks and my parents said that they just do shots in the parking lot. Like you let your dog out of the car, they take the dog, do the shots and then just let the dog back into the car. So I won't even have to leave the car or see anyone. They just do it super quick, like no contact. So I'm gonna go run and do that for my parents and then just come home and I will pack up these other two Etsy orders, probably make a little food. about one o'clock now i'm just home again maui's appointment went well didn't even have to get out of the car they just took her right in and brought her right back <clears throat> but that was pretty much the first time i've left home in like three weeks i think at least and so now i'm just going to crochet some i'm working on this for my sister actually it is the most like grandma activity ever but it is the most relaxing and satisfying thing I have ever done. I highly recommend if you are into crafting at all, knitting or crocheting. It's a great way to pass the time. It's helped really calm and focus my mind a lot, especially at night. I'll do it before bed. I really like activities like this that kind of keep my hands busy even while I'm watching YouTube or Netflix or something. It's just very, very relaxing to me. I'm working on a blanket that I have sitting over there, some extra fabric, and then I'm working on a project for my sister right now. But it's just been really great. I have a lot of bags of yarn in my room. It's been a great activity for me, especially during this time, and my sister has been crocheting a lot too. So I'm just going to relax for a little bit now, and that's pretty much what my days are like. I don't have any classes the rest of the day. I don't think I have any readings for next week because I believe I have like one or two days of review left, but thankfully my readings are done for the semester. And then the only other thing I might do today is try to unpack my room a little bit I brought a lot home obviously between Etsy and my clothes and just being here for the summer but for now I'm just going to relax and enjoy my crochet time. 